the topic for today is press by OPR for the consideration of the previous topic. <coughs> the topics already covered are definition of press by OPR, mechanism of press by OPR, calculation of press by OPR correction, bifocal lenses and types of bifocal lenses. <coughs> topics that will be discussed today are uh, at the end of this presentation, the audience will be able to summarize bifocal lenses, describe distance and near visual points, discuss problems with bifocal lenses, discuss, uh, describe prismatic jump, describe trifocal lenses, and discuss progressive addition lenses. <coughs> what are multifocal lenses? These are single lenses which incorporate both the distance and the near direction. Types of multifocal lenses are two, bifocal lenses and trifocal lenses. Bifocal lenses uh, have uh, in a single pair of spectacles with bifocal lenses, it provides both uh, separate distance and near prescriptions for each eye. The distance portion is usually the major portion and uh, larger of the two and near portion occupies lower part of the lens. <clears throat> there are four main types of bifocal lenses, split bifocal, cemented, fused and solid bifocal. Split bifocals have a uh, distance lens uh, flat bottom about the top, a uh, flat top of a separate near lens. The concept of segment is used in bifocals. The construction of near portion by modification of the main lens to incorporate a near addition either by attaching a supplementary lens or by changing the surface curvature. <coughs> in, <coughs> in cemented bifocals, a near portion is constructed by attaching a supplementary lens to the surface of a distance lens of the same refractive index. In fused bifocals, the near portion is made by heat fusing a button of flint glass to a corresponding crown glass main lens which has a lower refractive index. So in cemented bifocals, the refractive index of the distance and the near segment is the same. And in fused bifocals, the uh, distance segment has a lower refractive index. Fused bifocals uh, are of different shapes according to occupational requirements. They can be of round shape, D shape, D shape or C shape. <coughs> Solid bifocals are single piece construction in which near art is produced by different curvature instead of different refractive index. Either the front or the back surface of this portion with a full width horizontal junction between near and the distance portions. <coughs> what are uh, the next topic is distance and near visual points. These are positions on the lens through which it is assumed the visual axis is directed while the spectacles are in use. The NVP is 2 mm nasal and 8 mm below the DVP as is seen in the diagram. Uh, for spectacles, the top of the near portion should be tangential with the inferior limbus of the cornea for most purposes. But for children, the segment edge should be at the lower margin of the pupil to ensure the near point is used for all near tasks. <coughs> Intolerance of bifocals is a very common phenomenon and it is caused by a poorly fitting frame which allows the near portion to slip too low for comfortable use. What is prismatic jump? Prismatic effect occurs at any non-axial point on the lens. So, if optical center is coinciding with the NVP and the DVP, an increased prismatic effect will occur towards the, towards the junction of the distance and the near portions, as discussed in uh, bifocals. The prism power is proportional to the dioptic power of each portion and distance of interface, interface from its optical center. Uh, the prism power at the junction will suddenly change when the patient looks from one portion to the other and the image will suddenly change position. This is called prismatic jump. Another uh, phenomenon is prismatic effect at NVP. This is the sum of the prismatic effect due to the main lens and that to the segment at this point. For most fused or cemented by focus, optical center of segment overlies NVP of main lens and it produces no extra prismatic effect. Why are bifocals intolerated? 
the three main uh, clinical scenarios in which bifocals are tolerated the most are in isometropia, high refractive errors, and patients with vertical extraocular muscle imbalance. In an isometropia, prismatic effect on each eye will be different because of different uh, refractive error. <coughs> if there is more than 1.5 prism diopters vertical prismatic imbalance, it makes the binocular single vision uncomfortable and it causes uh, diplopia. High refractive errors ma will magnify the prismatic jump and the prismatic effect. Great care must be exercised when prescribing for patients with vertical extraocular muscle imbalance. How can we reduce the prismatic jump? If the optical centers of the lens lie at or close to the junction of the two portions, like in monocentric executive bifocals, the prismatic jump can be reduced or uh, shaped segments can be used where the segment tops uh, can be made to be close to the optical center or a down curve circular segment can be used with base down prismatic effect at 10 VP which cancels the base up, prismatic, uh, base up effect of hypermetropic distance lens and uh, but it increases uh, the base uh, down effect of the myopic distance lens. Image jump and prismatic effect reduce, uh, are reduced by incorporating base up prism in near segment. <coughs> what is by prism slab of process? Any bifocals that are designed to counter prismatic effect may be described as prism controlled, but mostly the glasses in which prisms are incorporated are called prism controlled. <coughs> prism direction, prismatic direction may be precast or in straight top fused. Or, cement, uh, or cemented by focus, by prism process may be employed. In uh, by prism process, prismatic correction is first added to both the near and the distance portions of the less prismatic lens so that NVP of each is equal. Then a base of prism is then removed from upper part of the modified lens so that original prismatic modification affects only the near portion. It is useful when an isometropia causes excessive vertical prismatic imbalance. What are the other optical problems? Other optical problem is that uh, the near visual axis does not correspond with the optical axis of near portion of lens. As we can see in the figure that the visual axis and uh, optical axis are not coinciding. O is the distance visual point, N is the near visual point, R is the center of rotation, C1 is the center of the front surface of lens, and uh, C2 is the center of the back surface of lens, C3 center of near segment back surface. The visual uh, axis is NR and um, optical axis is N, C1, C3 and they do not coincide. So in this case, astigmatic aberration occurs when light passes obliquely through a lens and uh, this is called oblique astigmatism. For its correction, bifocal spectacles with pantoscopic tilt 10 to 15 degrees forward are used to make visual axis more perpendicular to the near surface of lens. Uh, in clinical practice, important considerations should be made while prescribing bifocals for, uh, for, according to the needs of the individual patient. For example, if a patient is a cashier or a typist, then the near portion should be large with reduced bi press biopic correction. But a person who is working outdoors, he will need a smaller near segment. Bifocals are contraindicated in people working at height because down gaze uh, is dangerous for in that case, or elderly people with uh, vertigo. Hematropic patients uh, prefer half glasses with press biopic correction and low myopes will uh, prefer lens with power portion cut away to enable reading with naked eye. Next topic is trifocal lenses. Normally, the uh, mechanism of accommodation works in the distance portion, which uh, provides good intermediate uh, distance width. But when there is little or no accommodation, then trifocal lenses are used to focus for middle distance. A distance portion, uh, a trifocal lens has a distance portion and a near segment that are separated by an intermediate se segment. 
which has half power uh, for clear middle distance return. Again, trifocal lenses are not uh, are also not tolerated by an isometopic patients or uh, in those patients where prisms are required for new work. Last topic is progressive addition lenses. In these, uh, lens power changes gradually between distance and near visual points. It does not change abruptly like bifocal or trifocal. So that a single pair of spectacles suffices for all distances. It also avoids the cosmetic disadvantages of a segment edge crossing the eye. Uh, a concept of power progression cor corridor. Between the DVP, the, uh, the distance visual point, and the near visual point is the power progression corridor, where the lens is optically groomed and it focuses for intermediate distances. This avoids prismatic jump as in multifocal lenses because the power is increasing or decreasing gradually. <clears throat> to each side of the progression corridor, there is aberration and astigmatism increases peripherally and not at the junction of the uh, near and distance. Intolerable uh, for prescriptions with large cylinder <coughs> or high reading addition. <coughs> Extra plus 0.5 added to near add to ensure that sufficient reading power is present at NVP. What are the types of progressive addition lenses? Hard, soft, and ultra soft. Hard is the older type in which wide distance and near portions are present in narrow progression uh, corridor and uh, aberrations occur close to it because there is narrow progression corridor. In soft and ultra soft, they are newer and they have a smaller distance in near portions, but they have a wide progression uh, corridor, so less pronounced aberrations uh, occur close to the center and they are better tolerated. <clears throat> Take home message is that an isometropic patients don't tolerate bifocals or trifocals. Progressive addition lenses reduce prismatic germ, so are better tolerated than multifocals. Progressive addition lenses are not so useful for patients that require a wide near portion. <clears throat>